Hello, dear friends. <coughs> this is Joel Humphreys. I <coughs> wanted to share with you about a 10 minute message <coughs> from the Word of God. And I thank God for it because God's going to bless it to our hearts as we look to Him and seek the way and the will of the Lord. I thank God. We're to, <coughs> we're to learn to please God for everything. We're to learn to praise God for everything. Learn to praise Him. It's important that we learn to praise God. It's a good thing. The Bible says over in the Psalm, in the <coughs> in the in the seventy uh, first Psalm, I will hope continually, and I will yet praise Him more and more. I will hope continually, and I'll yet praise Him more and more. It's talking about the Lord God. We need to hope. Don't give up hope, dear friend. Keep hoping. You're praying for something. Keep praying. Hope. Don't give up hope. Keep believing. It's going to happen. It's going to come in God's own time and God's own way. He loves you very much. And He calls you to walk by faith and trust Him. So we need to wait on Him. I will hope continually all the time. Never quit hoping. Hope when it gets dark. Hope when it looks like the light's all gone out. Hope when it looks like nothing's going to happen. Keep hoping. Keep hoping. And you were going to see the victory. It will come in its own time and its own way. And then he says, I will praise him yet more and more. So learn to praise the Lord all the time, continually. Praise him in good times and praise him in bad. I live in a retirement center here. A friend of mine, a, a lady that's uh, up uh, in her 80s, and uh, just yesterday, I, I was talking to her on the phone, and she said, Last night I fell in the floor, and I couldn't get up. I just couldn't get up, and I had to lay there about three or four hours, and somebody, the Lord sent them by. Somebody came by, knocked on the door, and I hollered, and they came in and helped me get up and, and helped me to get back into my bed. But she said, While I was laying on the floor for three hours, I just lay there and talked to God, and she said, I praise God. I praised Him and talked to Him. Hallelujah. Oh, the Lord took care of her. She didn't hurt herself seriously. She's going to make it because she's trusting God. But she did it when she was in a dire situation. I want you to learn to hope continually. Whatever you're facing, God's there with you. He's going to bring you through it. The Bible says again, over in the by and the book of Psalm, <clears throat> and in the, in, the, in the, another scripture, in Psalm one sixteen verse one and two, I love the Lord because He's heard the voice of my supplication. I love the Lord because He's heard my prayer, and He's heard your prayer, and He's hearing your prayer right now, and He's going to bless you because He has inclined His ear to me. Therefore, I will call upon him as long as I live. And so because he's hurt you, keep praying. Because he's there and loves you, keep looking to him. Keep going because he's going with you. Don't turn back. Just keep going forward and believe in God. Try to forget the things behind you and look forward to what's before you. And go on because God's with you. He's not going to leave you. He's right with you now. And he's going to bring you all the way through. It'll never be so bad that you can't say, praise God, the Lord's with me. The Lord's with me. And He's going to see you through it. Over in Psalm again in the 34th chapter, it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will praise the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, that's so important. That's so important to know that. And to know that when we praise Him all the time, He said, I will praise Him at all times. That means good times and bad times. We praise Him. Praise the Lord when things are going right for you, dear friend. Praise the Lord when the prayers are being answered and you're finding your way. And you'll find your way and you'll have your prayers answered. But praise the Lord when it looks like he's forgotten. He never forgets. Praise the Lord when it looks like the answer is not coming. It will come. 
Praise the Lord. When it looks like the door will never be open, He will open. Praise the Lord continually. Call upon Him. Call upon Him. Call upon Him. Oh, His praise shall continually be in my mouth. So learn to praise Him all the time. Learn to praise Him in the good times and the bad times. Oh, I thank God. I thank God. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Jesus, our blessed Redeemer, sing, O earth, His wonderful love proclaim. Hail Him. Hail Him. Highest archangels in heaven. Peace and honor give to His holy name. Oh, like a shepherd, Jesus will guard His children, and in His arms He'll carry them all day long. Praise Him, praise Him, tell of His excellent greatness. Praise Him, praise Him, ever in joyful song. Praise God. Praise the Lord all the time. Praise Him all the time, as you can. God, I don't like this. It's something that's breaking my heart. But praise God, you're God, you're my God. And I'm going to praise you. You've allowed it to happen. I'm going to accept it and pray, God, you will deliver me in your own time, in your own way. And I'm praising you. Amen. Learn to praise the Lord all the time. Thank you, Lord, for my goodness, the goodness, the blessing that you give me. Thank you that I'm without pain and I can go and I can come and the hand of God is with me and the sun's shining and I'm walking in the light. Amen. Praise Him in the good times. Praise Him all the time. I like a story told by a man named Samuel Skull. Samuel bought a little farm out in the, in the west of the country and a little, a little house and he had a chicken house and had some chickens and one night the storm came up and it was so bad that his wife and he, and he and his wife huddled down in, in one of the rooms and part of his shingles flew off but the house stood and the, the next morning he went out and he looked at his little ch uh, uh, hen house and it was just tore all to pieces and many of his chickens were, were dead and under that lumber they were, they were dead and he stood there and said, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? Oh, and he said, this is terrible. But he said, praise God, help me. About that time he searched, saw something stirring in that in house, rubble, rubble, rubble. And there's an old rooster that came up out of that rubble. And he stood on top of it. And just as he came out, the sun was coming up. The sun was coming up. And that old rooster saw the sun and he started crowing. He just started crowing right there on the rubble of the hen house. And Samuel said, that just gave me inspiration. And I stood there and I said, Lord, help me. Like this rooster, he's crowing, he's praising. He's praising God for another day. The sun's coming up. I'm going to praise you for another day that you've given me. I'm going to make it by the grace of God. Help me. Help me to crow and to sing when I stand amid the rubble. Amen. Amen. This is what it means when he said, I, <clears throat> I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. May the Lord bless you, dear friend. May he give you strength to go home. Pray a brief prayer and say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he rose again. I'm asking you to come in my heart. And help me live for you as the Lord of my life. Oh, thank you. Find your good church and attend it and worship God with his people. And remember, learn to praise the Lord all the time. Amen. Because he loves you all the time. Amen and amen.